my name is Cassie and welcome back to another video. I hit 1000 subscribers like a month ago and now we're at like 1100. It's crazy. Thank you guys so much. And a 1k special is coming soon. I just got to figure out what to do. <laughs> and I'm not becoming a beauty guru channel, even though it kind of seems like I am by the hauls and like stuff. I'm not. I really wanna share what I'm passionate about with you guys. And even if it is materialistic things, uh, it's important to me and they are special to me. So I would love to share them with you guys. As I mentioned in my haul, I collect dolls, old antique dolls, mostly composition dolls. Now I have about nine or eight dolls now, and I thought that would be enough to show you guys them and and introduce them to you some people collect sports memorabilia well i collect creepy dolls so here you go as i mentioned before i love dead roses i'm very attached to dead roses i'm very attached to old creepy dolls old things i don't know what it is i don't know how to describe it i guess i just love preserving time with dolls, for instance, that is somebody's life right there. That was somebody's doll. And just for it to go away, it just, it's, it's history. It's, it was somebody's life. And to preserve that and to keep their legacy going in a sense, I don't know, it means a lot to me. So that is why I collect dolls. Without further ado, let's just jump into introducing you to the doll. I have wanted to collect dolls for a very, very long time and didn't even know where to start or where to begin looking. So when I was in Cape Cod for my vacation, this is the first doll that I found and I just, I fell in love with her. This, this is Jill. I named her Jill. And again, I found her in Cape Cod in an old vintage shop. And when I found her, I was like, oh my God, a creepy doll. And uh, the shop owner was like very offended that I called her creepy. I just love the way she looks. And she's like the only doll I have that's not a composition doll. She's made of complete wood and she is from probably about the 20s, 1920, which is old. It's probably one of the older dolls in my collection. Her paint is chipping away and you can see the wood underneath. But other than that, she's in very good condition and all her limbs are attached and I just, I'm obsessed with her. I love her. And this is where the obsession began. <laughs> After that, a few months went by and I still had this obsession with wanting to get dolls, but it's hard to know where to buy them at first. And you would check vintage shops and you would check these places and the probability of you finding a doll is not very likely unless they specialize in it. My sister and I went into Salvation Army because I did see a doll in there at one point and it was in really good condition, but it was about $200 and it was just, it was not, it was no, it was too much. So I went in there with my sister and we found this beauty. I named her Vanessa and she is in extremely amazing condition. The, the paint, Everything is just so perfect. And this is when I really knew nothing about dolls. I knew really nothing about them. And so when I saw her, I was just, wow, she's in amazing condition. She's cracking in a few areas, uh, her paint, but I just, I think that adds a nice look to it. They knew nothing about where she was from or um, anything about her, but they knew she was from about 1930. I got home and this is where I really fell down the rabbit hole. And I Googled how to tell where your doll is from. And they said to check for a watermark. And so I lifted, usually their watermarks are here on the back, but this one did not have a watermark. But I lifted up her shirt and right here on her tummy, there is a heart. And on the heart, it says lovingly restored by Odella's Doll Hospital. And there's a number and I, this, the hospital is in California. So this doll somehow made it to Colorado. And I just think that is the coolest thing ever. And I haven't called to figure out if there's a story behind this or if they even have any information on the doll, but that's why she was restored so beautifully because she went to a doll hospital. This is where I really fell down the hole of just being obsessed with dolls. So I love her. 
And this outfit is beautiful and I just, oh, I'm just obsessed with Vanessa. I found out that it's really hard to find dolls. The best place that I've found is Etsy. There's so many oh, beautiful dolls and they're really great with prices. They're very, most people are very, very kind. And I just, it's a good, it's a good community. I love Etsy. But the next two dolls I bought from the same person and it was so cheap and amazing. This one is named Jocelyn. This is called a stump doll because she doesn't have any limbs. They were cut off and most likely used for other dolls. She has these eyes that are just, oh, I love her eyes. This hair, it's kind of natted and it just, it gives her a lot of personality. She has a lot of personality. She is from roughly the same time as all of them, which is about 1930s, uh, late, late 30s, I would say. Now this was a huge thing for me. I was looking for a doll head to poke out the eyes and turn into a lamp such as this post that we've all kind of seen floating around I ordered a head expecting it to be about the size of this and this is what I got now this is Millie and oh my god I'm obsessed with her I pulled her out of the box and was just like oh my god this is huge. I mean, her head is literally like the size of my head. It's insane. Millie is from probably about the same time as them all, about 19, uh, maybe 1920s for this. She has this really adorable, just matted hair. I, I just love the way she looks. Millie's eyes are not attached in her head. So I was planning on poking them out and attaching her to a lamp and I just, I grew too attached to her. I can't, I can't do it. She has what looks like blood in her mouth. And the story behind that is at some point down the line, she became an art project and was used in correlation with an art project and then was sent to a vintage shop, um, which eventually got in the hands of the owner. She is beautiful and I, I love her very much. This next one is my pride and joy and my what my favorite doll has to be one of my favorite that I have in my collection. His name is Jack. He was the most expensive one that was listed. And the reason he was so expensive is because the lady that had him, this was the first doll in her collection. The thing that confused me is why she would want to get rid of this doll. And she said it's because her husband is just mortifiedly creeped out by it, which doesn't quite make sense to me, especially because she said she had it for 17 years and now she suddenly wants to get rid of it. I don't know, I'm happy to have him and I haven't had anything weird happen. So the world will never know. He has no watermark and is from the 1930s and his eyes are my favorite thing about him. His paint is cracking so beautifully, I just, I love Jack. Jack is beautiful, beautiful doll. The next two dolls I got from the same person and they were fairly, a fairly good price. Very, very good. And they are from the same place and same maker. So whoever had these dolls, they came together. They lived together. Whoever owned them, they owned them together. And that's like the coolest thing ever. This doll's name is Max. Not the original outfit that it came in because it was very, moldy and stained. This hat is obviously knitted. Is that the right word? This hat is original. So whoever made the hat for this, that's, that's what it came with. And the coolest thing about Max is this. His crier still works. It's the coolest thing in the world. And his twin is Helen. This is Helen. She also came in a different outfit, but I had these outfits and I thought they looked cute on them. She has this beautiful hair and this beautiful little bonnet that was also knitted for her and it's what they came in. And I love, I love them as a pair. They're adorable. And the last two are from the same owner as well. And I already showed them in my hurl. This one is Chucky. He has no watermark and has been restored and repainted. He is beautiful. I love Chucky. And last but certainly not least is Noah or my, my Trump baby doll because all his limbs are bright orange. He is very, very unique looking. And he is my only doll that has a watermark, which is 
horseman dolls. I looked it up and this doll is from about 1940s. All right guys, that about does it for this video. I hope you enjoyed seeing my creepy collection. Let me know what you guys think of it down in the comment section. I would love to hear your opinions on it. Also, do you guys collect anything cool or creepy or weird? Let me know about that in the comments as well. I love you all very much. 1K special is coming soon. Again, thank you so much for that. It's insane. And I will see you guys in my next video. Love you. Bye.